I'm Stephanie from Math with Missy, and today I'm going to show you how to use Desmos. I've been using Desmos almost every day in my online classes so far this year, um, and we're going to start by looking at the pre-made activities on Desmos. Let's get started. To access Desmos, you can type in desmos.com and it'll take you to this screen here. On this screen, you'll see a couple of different things. This is their graphing calculator function. You also have your student section where students can join your class and you also have teacher activities. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and have us click on browse activities. Under this tab, you have a bunch of activities that you can assign to your class. So you'll see the featured activities here on the side are a bunch of featured collections. You can look through those as well. If you are teaching a certain topic, you can always go through and search for an activity. So let's say I'm teaching inequalities. I'll go ahead and click on the inequality um, activity bundle that they have, and you can see that they have a few activities pre-made. This is a really good way if you're crunched for time to find a really high quality activity to use. So let's take a look at this inequality on a number line. Down here you can see the screen. The screens will show you all of the slides in this activity. So we can see there's a few different like number line activities here. Um, you have some plotting points, some predictions, and some reveal of the answer. And if this is an activity that you decide you like, you want to assign it to your students, um, you can add it to your collection by pressing this plus button here. Um, you can also directly assign it to your class. So you can either assign it to your class um, this way and assign it to classes you've created, or if you don't have a class set up, you can always assign it as a single session code. And that will generate a code um, that students can copy and paste into their end, or it can also give you a student link that you can copy and paste into any learning management platform that you are using this school year. Hopefully that answered some questions about the pre-made activities in Desmos. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and drop them in the comments and I will try my best to answer them. Bye, have a great day.